Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video we're going to be going through a couple of my mastery setups. I decided to make the video because I constantly have people asking me what kind of masteries I use for specific scenarios and it's always quite uh, difficult to find them somewhere like buried in my photos or if I do not find the photos it always takes a lot of time to explain. So I just thought this would be the best way to kind of showcase what masteries I use generally. So for the first setup I'm showing off my off-season masteries, which is what most of you guys have seen in all my videos that I have been using while doing my four-star and so on. Uh, so it's just a fairly generic suicide build. I love using suicides in off-season because it lets you get through the content faster, it makes a lot of fights easier, especially if, uh, if you have large enough roster that can support suicide masteries and has enough champions that work decently well with suicides. I definitely do recommend keeping this mastery set, this or any other kind of suicide mastery setup on for as long as you can in off seasons and things like that. So anyways, we're gonna go in defense. Uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about my defense here because I do generally keep my defense always exactly the same and I only switch points in between and attack and utility and rearrange them there. So my off season setup is like your basic suicides with your max willpower and my utilities is fairly bare bond as well I only use seven points in there uh, only max stupefy and some in parry in my attack uh, we obviously run max suicides I do prefer to run max uh, deep wounds over assassins uh, because I have like a rank 5 blade and a few of other champions that inflict bleed and I just feel that that makes them instantly a lot better than without deep wounds and yeah that's about it there's nothing too special I can say about this setup it's kind of like just an easy quick one suicide setup that I used for AQ and pretty much everywhere during the off season so the second mastery setup is going to be for war season this is a mastery setup whenever I am placing my defenders in war. And so here I'm going to explain my defense. Obviously on defense we run still the max willpower because it does uh, help. Uh, we also run max stand your ground because in alliance war many nodes are basically made where opponents are going to be relying to counter your opponents by using their heavy attacks so being able to block that heavy attack can definitely throw opponents off the game quite quickly and grant you some extra kills on defense uh, so if you can go on our utility it's again fairly bare boned and don't often focus on my utility but the one difference there from before is that I obviously place with max limber just because that shortens the stun duration when opponents are parrying my defenders so Often that can catch people off guard as well and you know any kind of as if when if <laughs> scenario helps in on defense because you never know when you're going to catch somebody off guard. Aside from that we're using the scouter lens because that, that is uh, when we are kind of starting the attack. I'm going to be joining the attack with my scouter lens on. I'm going to use my generic defense setup for first couple of fights because that uh, those normally are quite easy and nothing too big to stress about. And thanks to that I'm going to be able to scout out my easy fight uh, opponents and later on when we get to uh, pass the first mini boss all those paths uh, are normally kind of joint path where there's another person on so if I can ask them to scout something for me and you can see that I normally take that scout lens out of my other masteries and I just only keep it in here. Uh, and as far as my offensive masteries uh, for placing on defense you can notice one particularly weird thing is that I'm maxing the mastery that uh, extends your fury duration I do that because I'm placing my rank 5 Medusa on defense and it just helps Medusa to keep that auto block on for a bit longer that's why giving opponents less kind of time to get easy ins so I think that's helping out her quite good I also play Sabertooth on defense and he gains furies so I think it's just overall uh, interesting kind of little bit extra what most people do for those and I think that can pe catch people off guard especially combined with Stand Your Ground and Max Limber. 
And again, since I play Sabertooth and some other champions that inflict bleed, I keep my max deep wounds on for defense. And we're running two points in unfazed, uh, just because we can't really spare anymore. Uh, that is a good note that I'm definitely kind of hoping that we're going to get more mastery points soon. But yeah, anyways, this has been my alliance defense setup. So now we're going to go on my magic special uh, setup. I call it like that because this setup essentially works really good with magic. It somewhat, somewhat works with Corvus. And that's about it. This setup is pretty much horrible for anything else, but it's absolutely excellent for your Killmonger on 29 and many other magic parts. So first things first, again, let's start with the defense. You can see uh, that on defense, nothing has changed. I, I am still keeping it exactly the same. It's just largely to save myself some time and units. Not that I would think that this is a perfect setup for her. And my utilities, it's exactly the same as they were before, apart from the fact that we have max MD there and we do not have the scout lens in anymore. If you wish, you can keep the scout lens still in with the magic setup and then just take off one point somewhere from somewhere in the attack. But yeah, that's my utility. So I run max MD with magic. And here is the interesting part. So for most of my lens, uh, offensive setups, I do not run deep wounds or assassin at all. Uh, but you can see here, since this setup is specifically for magic, we are running max recoil and max double edge. Uh, reason being for that is because limbo prevents us essentially from taking any recoil damage. And in fact, combined with our recovery mastery from our defense, we are gaining about 1.5% health every single time we use special attack, so all that adds up. Obviously, double edge synergizes also very well with this because I'm gonna take some initial damage at the start of the fight. However, uh, quite a bit of it is gonna be reversed with my limbos uh, in combination with the recovery and we're ending up not losing all that much health as most champions would with suicides. And magic so perfect is uh, the recall and double edge just because yeah you get so much more power on your special attacks and really increase your damage output and you literally have no downside. In fact, when you get to the, your mid mid fight, the, you use it to your advantage by making sure you heal off every single special you throw and magic throws a lot of special attacks. So yeah, this is a setup I essentially use for vast majority of my magic fights in AW including most of the fights on 29 if I use magic. So the next setup we're going to talk about is the setup I use for Lion's War attack if I use Corvus. Uh, sometimes I just use Corvus with my magic mastery, uh, mastery setup if I feel like I'm going to have sufficient damage output. However, if I'm about to face some trickier fights and if I haven't gotten any charge with Corvus, uh, then I beef him up with this uh, mastery setup for him. Uh, so our utility is again bare bone to the max. Uh, we just use seven points in there, two in parry and three in step fine and one in dexterity. Our defense has stayed the same as always and for attack what have we changed here? We have completely skipped precision tree because Corvus does not need it. He's going to crit anyways. We have maxed out our greater strength, our so we have maxed out our greater strength, we have maxed out our courage, we have maxed out our glass cannon again, just to make sure Corvus has as much attack as he possibly can. We're run running full-blown recoil and full-blown liquid courage and double edge because Corvus relies so much on his special two damage and that recoil just gives him that extra push that he might need. We're also adding an extra point in Pierce just because every single hit Corvus is gonna make is gonna be critical. Therefore, uh, Pierce is going to uh, give him increased damage uh, while fighting nodes with armor on. Uh, so I think that pretty much explains for this setup. Uh, this is by far one of the like most fun setups if you're using Corvus and if you're using Corvus, Corvus specifically. Uh, and again, these last two setups uh, which I showed, Corvus and Magic ones, are quite horrible when it comes to using with most of the other champions. So I do not recommend them for general play at all. It's just specifically for those two champions and largely for Alliance War Attack. 
and my last setup because uh, people have been asking and even though you can see it in the video that I made uh, here are my mastery setup for Aegon in LOL and I'm just gonna quickly explain why I made the choices I did so if you go to defense tree again you can see we're not running any willpower and only points that we have is in max block proficiency because we still do parry in LOL and that's about all we need we do not need willpower because Aegon shrugs off all debuffs on his crits and that includes your liquid cottage uh, and double edge debuffs at the start of the fight so on um, utility tree uh, it's pretty much standard as usual you can notice we maxed out parry we maxed out stupefy it's purely just to get in as many parries as we can and that's all that we need the rest of it is pretty much max out everything we can for damage we're running max uh, courage max greater strength again we are skipping precision tree because Aegon does not need it at all whatsoever because he's gonna get those guaranteed crits almost guaranteed crits in anyway so we just need crit damage not crit rate we're running full suicides we're only running uh, one point in recoil because we're not really relying on special damage and we can't afford to lose more health anyways and then we maxed out all the fury masteries because he's been gonna be constantly under several fury effects and that's gonna help out some and we're also running max assassin and last few points i want to talk about is uh, i am extremely unhappy with the kabam in terms of quality of life and regarding mastery setups because that is honestly extremely tedious thing as, uh, especially in alliance war attack when you need to spend so much time i don't even mind the units like obviously i'm not a fan of it but that is not even my biggest problem my biggest problem is how long it takes to redo all these masteries and upgrade them but it is just another one of those things that can give you a little bit of extra edge in the fight and make sure you come out of it alive so I know many people have been complaining about it on forums as well and that has been going on the thing for years and largely people have been talking about having like save presets and things like that and I get that that might be a bit difficult thing to do I mean I'm sure Kabam can do it if they want to but I get that that would include quite, include quite a bit of coding and some other things my point is why don't we simply get the ability to remove a mastery point not recover all just recover one point at a time because then we could like pick and choose where we need to take something out we could put something in it would be a lot easier for us to play with new mastery setups try things out also there have been many times when i'm adding masteries and i'm getting kind of like distracted because it's a boring thing and you look away and you accidentally add the points in the wrong place and then you need to start all over so my big hope from Kabam is that they simply give us an ability to remove a single mastery point rather than removing entire sheet like defense or offense. Anyways, uh, that's me done ranting for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please leave a like, subscribe, share the video. If you have any other mastery setups you would like to see in future, please leave that in comment section. I think I'm going to be doing a couple more of these mastery setups specifically for some different champions, depending on what you guys want to see. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'll catch you later, guys. See ya.